You can now source images for your website or content using the Pexels block. Let me show you how this works. I've built a tagline generator, and we're going to enhance it by using the Pexels block to source images to complement our web page. Let's begin by adding the Pexels block to our automation. You can find it in the community functions. Inside of our Pexels block, we have a few things to set up. The first is our API key. We can grab this from the Pexels website. Go to your account, tap Image and Video API. And once you tap the Your API Key button, your key will be generated and displayed. I've already created one, so I'll be using it in our example. Now, let's head back to Mind Studio and paste in our API key. For the search query, we're going to call the variable request and wrap it in double braces. For the image count, we're going to call the variable options and also wrap it in double braces. And for the output variable, we're going to set the variable to images. The request variable is calling the first send message block I set up. With that said, we're going to call this instance a request. This block contains the variable for our objective, which comes from our user input block, as well as the instructions to summarize our objective into a few keywords. We're going to use those keywords later on in our automation for our tagline and image search. This block is going to send our objective along with our instructions to be processed by our selected AI. For this block, I set the response behavior to assign to variable, and as mentioned before, the variable is request. Now, let's open the user input block. Inside, we have the inputs for our objective as well as our option amount. To set the variable in each, open the input and set it here. As a reminder, our options variable is called in our image count in the pexels block. We're now gonna move on to our next send message block. We're gonna call this instance a display. You'll notice we call for the images variable from the pexels block. We also send instructions to wrap each image generated in the markdown to display images and the variable and formatting for our generated tagline. In order to see our desired final output, we have to make sure to set the response behavior to display to user and the sender to user. For this example, we've set the terminator block to end session. All that's left now is to publish a preview and see the final outcome. For the objective, we're going to write to sell our mixed reality goggles. For the options, we're going to write three. Perfect. From the request we made, we were able to source three image suggestions that could complement the objective of the web page, as well as generate a potential tagline for this page from the keywords in the objective. Now, let's head back to Mind Studio. As you've seen, we were able to use the Pexels block to source website banner images while also generating a tagline for the page. You and your users can now source images for all sorts of creative ideas. If you have any questions or comments, Feel free to leave us a message in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.